Uh, at this particular point, I believe that it is now 7.10. So, we will move to the uh, public hearing. Um, this is a public hearing on the proposed local law number 4 of 2022, which is entitled, oh, A Local Law to Amend and Clarify Chapter 85 of the Code of the Village of Webster, entitled Noise. Unquote. Um, the, uh, I think we, maybe we had talked about this last time, but, um, it would be, uh, the purpose here is to amend and clarify uh, Chapter 85 in the Code of uh, the Village um, by amendments and additions to uh, several sections of the chapter. Um, one in Section 8511, uh, Section A and B, uh, amended to provide that during the hours of 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., no person shall operate or cause to permit or permit to be operated any device which produces a sound level across a residential real property or within any residential zone district in excess of 65 dB uh, of an L10 in excess of 50 dBAs. What's L10? What is L10? Yes, you asked the same thing two weeks ago. If, if you well, never it. Yes, I did. Well, I read it. Yes, it it's in the code, and I read the definition. And if you read the definition, it doesn't help because it's <laughs> you got to be an audiologist or something to understand what the heck it means. All right. So, good. do you want me to read Strike it? To it. You? Do you want me to read it to you again? <laughs> so stricken. <laughs> I did. Uh, we're basically looking at the excess of 65 dBAs. Um, and then during the hours from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m., that would be overnight. No person shall operate or cause to be permitted or permit to be operated any device which would produce a sound level in excess of uh, across a residential real property boundary or within a residential zone district in excess of 55 uh, dBAs um, or using the L10 in excess of 50. Yeah, like in case uh, you know, cat meows or something, you're breaking the noise up. You might. Uh, it's I, awful. Uh, <laughs> you want me to read you the L10 again there, Carl? It's the A-weighted sound level measured with slow response that has exceeded 10% of the time in any one-hour interval. The measurement time interval need not be one hour, provided that the measurement results are representative of a one-hour interval. Now, that certainly clarified that. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> I know it would be long period of time. So it would have to be somewhat so, continuous. It, it, it's, yeah, it has to be. So I suppose, I suppose it also needs a definition within the definition of what is an A weighted sound level. There you go. Is that like music, which you generally tune to the, the note A? No, there's different scales of decibels. There's an A scale and a C scale. There's also a B scale that's very rarely used, but the C scale is one. But the A scale is what this one is based upon. And it talks about Oh, it. thanks, Jake. There is. I didn't look it up because I didn't know either. It makes it all crystal clear. It's yeah, yeah, it certainly so does. I don't know it's how, if somebody complains something's too noisy, how anyone that is employed by the village actually goes and figures out if, in fact, you're violating this. Well, there is a noise. I have, yeah, there is a noise. So well, well, I, have, yeah, I have two different sound meters. Yeah, yeah. sound meters. Yeah, but after I decide for the question. Are they, yeah. are they but, uh, but A, B, or C? Yeah, right. <laughs> yes, but is it, do you, is it's, not just, it's just not in excess of 65 decibels, decibels. it's in yeah. excess of 65 decibels of an L10 in excess of 50 decibels. What does that mean? So basically, I think if there's a sound right. level for an hour long period, right. that's that's 65 decibels for, for six minutes, and then it's below 65 decibels to the west. The rest of the time, you would weigh it out and say you you were at 10 percent of that time. You were at 65 decibels, so you didn't exceed that. If it was 70 decibels for six minutes, and it was nothing before or nothing after that, then you would say you exceeded the 10 percent, the L10, and now you're in violation of that. I feel sorry for Eric. Uh, <laughs> I feel sorry for anyone that's got a treadmill. 
it seems to me there's got to be a more common sense noise ordinance out there somewhere than whoever came up with for the, this for the record, that this isn't the only code that is, doesn't make sense. Right. Oh, in the village, in this village's code? Yeah. Oh, please. Oh, I, I'm not going to argue that. It's, okay. no. it's true. But, uh, this this just seems to me there should be an easier way to figure out if something's too noisy yeah. or not. I figure the meter has to be calibrated to, <laughs> yeah, but I'm not calibrated to ACL test. I think the second part of that, 8512B, is a little bit better because it talks about a continuous sound mm -hmm. in the air which has crossed property. So um, that would be, I think, a little bit more relevant that you would use uh, as you're looking at a continuous sound over a period of time as opposed to taking an hour of your time and looking at how long. You know, so if I'm going to run a chainsaw, do I have to get a permit from you? Just stop every 10 minutes. Just <laughs> I'll get a new muffler for me. Yeah. Yeah. Those new electric ones aren't as loud. Um, so we're, we're talking about uh, uh, some sound levels there. <laughs> Number three, uh, 85, uh, section 8514 is amended to be replaced uh, by the replacement of the beginning of the first sentence. Uh, the section with the following quote, the provisions of this chapter shall not apply to the noise produced by the following uses, uh, unquote. And number four, section 8514 shall be further amended by the addition of subsection E as follows, quote E, the emission of sound in the performance of municipal operations such as snow and ice removal and street sweeping. So those things which tend to happen overnight, I suppose, are looking here at the exceptions. And number five, this local law shall become effective upon filing with the Secretary of State. So uh, those, the gist of the proposed local law, and at this particular point, I would open the floor up for any comments regarding this local law. There's a, uh, an occasional loud sound that comes from the building at Salt Road that I and my neighbors have heard at night uh, from time to time. Yeah. I research it and it's pretty loud. I mean, yeah. your window's open. It's, it's the one on Salt Road uh, and that's been addressed before. I think it's 243. Oh, the uh, corner building? Yes. Okay. And there's a big fan there. I yeah. we, we search it out, and yeah. yeah, it's a big fan that makes a lot of noise. Yeah. So that's a continuous noise for a long period of time. And uh, you know, if you get your L10 A meter down there, might be able to go after zero for that noise. Yeah, probably is. Yeah. But still, it's a meter. We can hear it from our. It is within the town or the village, though. Well, the Toner building's in the village. Yeah. 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 You've heard that noise, Aaron, uh, Aaron, right? Yeah, I actually know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. I've done that before. And I say you think that's above the uh, BB level? Yeah, by the time it crosses the property lines and stuff like that, I doubt it. What happens at there at 3 o'clock in the morning or silent with the echo that yeah. we're neither? Okay. Yeah, I mean, I can hear all the codes across. Okay. All right. Well, um, anybody else have a comment regarding that? If not, um, I will close the um, <coughs> public hearing on that, and uh, we'll come back to that next week. See if there's any, or two weeks from now, we'll see if there's any more comments that come into the village regarding that, and um, we can vote on that next time. Okay, so the public hearing is now closed at 7.20, and uh, we will now move on.